going on everyone? Just want to make a really quick video to help you guys if you need to replace your pilot light on your 2007 R6. This may be helpful for some of you with later or earlier models, I'm not sure. This is specifically for the 2007 R6. So all you need to know is that you do not need to take off this entire dash panel. The first time I did it, I did do that. I removed these screws right here. There's one, two, three, four that hold this main headlight assembly on. So again, there's gonna be one, two, and then lower, three, four, that hold this on. You do not need to take this off. Where this assembly connects to the headlight assembly is right here on the right side, one, and right here, two, on the left side. If you just remove these two screws right here after taking off the windscreen, you can take off the headlight, or I'm sorry, take off the pilot light assembly. So literally, there are just two screws that hold this onto this. They are right here, and it's mirror on the opposite side. So all you have to do is take off your windscreen. Self-explanatory, the bolts are right there. Um, so your, your rear view mirrors, if you guys have them on a lot, a lot of you guys do uh, rear view mirror deletes. So take off your rear view mirrors. I'm not gonna post a tutorial on how to do that. Literally there are two studs, like, it's literally just two nuts. So take them off, take them off, boom. Now you have your rear view mirrors out of the way. If you guys already have removed those, perfect. Just take off your front windscreen and there are literally just two screws that hold in place, one there, one there. After that, for me personally, I do remove the four screws. So there's a screw, sorry, it's going around. There's one, two, three, four. And that's so I can remove these side pieces it's so easy, they're four screws, um, just hang on to them. And then after that, um, I do remove this one right here. I mean, it's, it's a five minute job. It's a five minute job. Tools I use, just a regular little socket guy. This is just a regular, I don't know what they call them, Allens or Phillips, whatever, you guys know. I think that's an Allen. And I use an extension. Um, you can use just a regular screwdriver, like literally just regular tools. Now my bike, um, I mean obviously, 2007, if I'm making a video, then you guys also have 2007, or maybe later years, but mine uh, has had multiple odors, so I don't know if these screws are going to be the exact same on yours. I couldn't tell you if those are the stock screws, um, but either way, the placement is going to be the exact same on the 2007, so these two screws, left and right, holding it to the headlamp assembly, one there, one there, literally it'll just come off, disconnect your pilot light, and um, yeah, remove these little pieces right here and I'll show you what that looks like in just one second. All right, literally 20 seconds later, got those four screws off. Make sure to keep track of them. They're short little guys right here. Four, one, two, three, four. Those pieces fall out. Now I just need to remove these three screws on the back. I'm gonna do that, give me two seconds. All right, I've done that. I've taken the three screws out that hold the light to this little assembly right here. Those three screws are smaller, meaning skinnier, if I can focus. They're skinnier than those other four that we have over there. Now, the only thing left is on the front side. We have two screws bolting this front side of the frame, um, which is obviously preventing the light from sliding out. So I'm gonna be back in 10 seconds. I'm gonna take those out and this guy should slide right on out. All right, I'm back 10 seconds later. Took out those two screws holding this little mount in place. Slide that out. Now these screws are the exact same size as those other three um, that held the back side of the light in place. Now the light slides up freely, so there should just be one other screw, and that is on top right here. Once we take this out, this little glass cover will slide right out, and we can disconnect it from its frame, and we can replace the light. So, so, so easy. I'll be back in five seconds when I get that light out of the uh, housing. All right, I'm back. I have that cover off, and here I am. I'm left with the LED. Now, I did replace this LED, my stock bulb. Um, it had burnt out, and it was time to replace it. I mean, those stock bulbs, the 194s, sorry, the 194s from factory, they come phenomenally dull. So I would recommend changing them uh, regardless. I did that, and the replacement that I got was super dull and I was highly disappointed. So I replaced it with some red ones and I am going to uh, put that in right now.
You take this out just by pulling it out. I could probably even do it with one hand. Boom. Done. Guys, I mean, this is the easiest job in the world. I don't know why people don't make videos helping others out. So this was the Sylvania something or other. It's dull. Don't buy it. If you're looking for a quick replacement, I did get this from AutoZone, so cool is a good fix, but I'm going to throw them in the trash. So, if you're looking for a dull light that looks yellow, get this. If you're not, go with something else. That's my review. Since I have the KT Motor headlights, which have red demon eyes, I got a red pilot light. I'm sorry, red pilot light. Goodness, I can't speak. Um, I just got these off of Amazon. They came in a couple days. And I'm going to grab one. This is a pack of 10. And we'll see how bright they shine. I mean, off the bat, packaging is cool. The light looks cool. Not that that really counts for anything, but it looks way cooler. Um, I'm not sure if this has a specific polarity. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I think it should be fine, but I'm just going to plug it in one way. And then I'm going to hook this assembly uh, back into the bike and turn the bike on just to see if the pilot light comes on. Um, just to double check before I put everything back together. All right, guys. So when I, the way that I plugged it in originally did not work when I turned the light on. I'm sorry, when I powered up the bike, meaning just turned the ignition. So I just flipped it around, meaning if this was up, I just flipped the light down and turned the key in the ignition, and the light did come on. It's extremely bright. Um, I can show you what that looks like. All things considered, that's very bright. I think it'll go perfectly with the red Demon 9 headlights. Um, but all that to say, if you get a 194 replacement bulb and you plug it in and you turn the key in the ignition and it doesn't work, your bulb is upside down. So polarity with some of these bulbs does matter, apparently. That should help you out. Also, just double check, just quickly plug the light right back in and turn the key in the ignition. Super easy, super fast way to check um, if the bulb works, and if you have your polarity right. So, now you know. Now that I've confirmed that the bulb does work, and now that I've confirmed that my bulb is sitting right way up, or right side up, I'm gonna quickly disconnect this, get all the housings back together, and just slap this right back on. Uh, Storm, which is the name of my 07 R6. While I have the housing off, I just took the liberty of cleaning this up a little bit. May as well. Um, polish everything up while she's no longer on the bike. If you had any issues with sealing right here, now would be the time to either replace it, I'm sure it's very, very cheap, or if you could um, just use something like Gasket Maker to help that seal perfectly. Mine's fine, so I'm just gonna put everything back together. The only tricky part, and this is not even tricky whatsoever, is just remember to feed the wire back through the assembly, and you're done. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And then put all the plastics back together. You have your regular screws, even if you mix them up. These are one size. And then you have your four, so just keep those four separate and everything else is fine. Quick tip and trick, I personally find it easiest to start with three, these three on the back side. So rather than trying to put this nose piece on first, I'll just get this lined up, hold it down, and I start with this big one. Remember to put your washer down. And I start with this one because it's easiest to see it and line it up with the light. So by hand, I just get it and line that one up. And then I can easily center these other two by hand, by hand. And now the light is uh, sitting snugly and that'll help me put the nose piece on later. So that's my order of operations, but do it whatever uh, and whatever method works best for you. A quick word to the wise. Remember, you are screwing into plastic. Plastic is very, very soft. So... Just be very, very gentle. Don't be hyper aggressive. Don't, you will strip the plastic so easily. Don't do it. So just be very gentle. Whenever I'm torquing down, I usually just do like, like one or two fingers with the wrench. And as soon as I feel a little bit of resistance, that's when I stop because I don't want to strip the plastic. So be gentle. You're screwing to plastic. Don't set yourself up for failure. On to the front. I know I said, be careful with the resistance. On these front two, you will feel a little bit resistance. Um, the general general rule of thumb that I use is anytime I feel resistance, I ease up, I stop right there. On these front two specifically though, they have really long travels. So you can see that there's plenty to screw into. 
um, well beyond the length of the screw itself. So you will feel resistance. I know I just told you, be careful um, on these front two. It's fine to just screw them in all the way. Assuming you're using the original screws that don't run the full length. Anyway, that's done. So I've got my wire threaded out the back, my harness, my wire harness threaded out the back. I've connected it in the three screws in the back and the two in the front, got this little front nose piece on. So now I'm just gonna put these uh, front cowling pieces on using the four screws set aside and we'll be in business. Bada boom, bada bing. Sorry, it's getting dark. Um, quick note, I am installing LEDs on my bike. So while this cowling piece is off, this is the perfect time for you guys to put LEDs on your motorcycle. If that's something you're considering, now is when I would do it. For me, I'm just using one strip on this one specific piece, and it's just gonna be placed in the center right here. So I'm just gonna use the 3M strip and I'm gonna put it on now. But if you're not putting LEDs on your bike, then just get this cowling back on and you'll be in business. Got the lights on for you guys. So put the two screws in just like that. Let me turn the ignition on. Let's see what we've got here. And there she is. I've actually not turned her on with the demon lights, so. Well, that's bright. Okay. Give me one second. I'm gonna. Is it safe to turn her on? Yes, please. Safe to turn her on. One second. I have her stripped down the fairings and everything, so I wasn't sure. I had to double check. I was like, wait, is it safe to turn her on? Uh, but it did reconnect the air filter and fuel box and all that stuff, uh, fuel tank and everything. So uh, let me go ahead and turn her on. You're not gonna be able to hear me. Um, once I do that, but I'm just turning around just to see what the demon, um, the demon eyes look like with that red. Um, so I can show you and you won't be able to hear me. So give me one second. Oh, and that other light, for those of you who are very smart, um, didn't turn on because I am replacing that with a 6000K bolt right here. So that's going to go in. Uh, but that's what it looks like. Go out and conquer, my friends. I know this hasn't been the most 100% comprehensive video. I was just doing it on the fly. I've done valve jobs, welded exhaust studs back on, like everything. This has been a big job. So um, this was just a quick little side project. I noticed that there was no video video out there for anyone um, that showed how to do this so I wanted to quickly make this video please don't flame me in the comments I'm just trying to be helpful um, and help you brothers and sisters out so um, best of luck to you it's super super easy one other step that I didn't mention you will have to take those other uh, front fairings off and disconnect them so that you can slide that uh, front piece off but you're smart you can figure it out that's all there is to it this is a straight shot. No edits. Just off my phone. Stop and start. Bye.